My second book is ready! I know most of you are hyped about the amazing filler arc of Boruto, and you can't wait for more of my gay food fetish recaps, but in case you want to read something bad for a change, you know, something with a competent plot and no schools or time resets or amnesia or video game battles, then you can do worse than That's giving me money. money! I mean, read my book! Needless to say, it's a sequel to the first, so don't buy it if you haven't read the first. And if you plan to get the first, you are better off waiting a few months since I'm planning to make a bundle of both books after some editing for clarity. That's why I didn't bother to have a different cover, because I plan to make a bundle. Not because it costs $300, and I know it's not gonna sell more than 20 copies, because the only thing you care about is Boruto fillers and gay food fetish recaps. And in case you wonder what kind of an edit I'm going to make, it's not gonna be about changing the plot. I have to change first-person narration to third-person narration, because it has many points of view, and the switch from one to another is apparently a thing called head-hopping. When I first wrote the book, it was supposed to have only one specific protagonist per arc, but then they told me it was boring to follow the same guy for so long. So I spliced the stories of every major character, and that now feels weird when it's always in first person. And it is important to have a third person when you have multiple plot lines happening at once. I just finished the second Red Rising book, which is by far the best young adult I read in my life thus far, but my biggest problem with it was how the narration was limited to what the single protagonist was seeing through first person narration. There is a whole solar system out there, and he is not present to most events that take place, so those parts had to be told to him via very boring info dumps. Also, you have no actual insight to what everyone else is doing besides the main character, how he feels or thinks. You just know them superficially by what they say or do. It works in terms of mystery because the reader knows only the things the protagonist does, so every twist hits harder because he doesn't see it coming, but beyond that you only care about one character and you only know what you are told, which I found to be very limiting in a story with dozens of major characters and a setting that is as big as the solar system. And that is why I have to change the narration to third person. I don't want most of the plot to be told to the reader and I don't want him to care only about one character. In summary, buy the second book only if you already have the first, otherwise wait for both of them when I finish the editing and I merge them into one. Whatever you choose, it makes no difference for me when I take, take your, your money! money.